Hello, my name is Tommy Kimura, and today I'll be presenting our IE498 HFT final project, High Frequency Trading Strategies with RCM Strategy Celio. Our captain is Yi Hongjian, and um, our members are Ray Peng Han, Tomoshi Kimura, and Zihan Zhao. We'll start off with our project description. We are basically implementing algorithmic trading strategies given nanosecond accurate data. Therefore, we have an automated market data parser. We have strategy backtesting and some analysis and visualizations. There are different softwares. First, we have the strategy studio provided by RCM. We also have a virtual box. Lastly, we also have Vagrant. We'll be mainly using C++ for our strategy implementation, and we have also used Python for any data-related tasks, along with many different packages that could be found on our GitHub repository. Now let me explain the project architecture and design. There are mainly four parts of our project. Data parser, strategy backtesting, analysis and visualizations, and DevOps. For data parser, as you can see on the image to the right, we have mainly three components. We have the AEX data parser that's mainly getting the data market data from the investor exchange. We have a NASDAQ data parser that mainly gets data from NASDAQ. We also have an alpaca data parser that utilizes alpaca API to obtain the market information. Our data parser will parse this market data into text files that are available for strategy studios to initiate backtesting process. For strategy backtesting, we have mainly implemented four different strategies. The first one is arbitrage, the second one is by last self burst, the third one is mean reversion, and the last one is swing. This automated backtesting will eventually generate results, and Strategy Studio will automatically export these files into some CSV files for analysis and visualizations. For strategy analysis and visualizations, we are mainly outputting some figures and some tables with meaningful data for users to improve their strategies. The DevOps mainly automated all these processes we mentioned earlier, which makes everything easy to run with just single command. For this project, we also have a GitLab CI CD pipelines and the quality assurance some bent packages in these pipelines. This ensures a high quality coding and a smooth project workflow. Let me briefly explain the market data parser. Just like what I said earlier, there are mainly three different parsers, Investor Exchange Parser, NASDAQ Parser, and Alpaca Parser. We'll be mainly using the IEX Parser provided by the professor of this class. You can find the original repo in the side. The parser mainly has two batch scripts. The first one is download, and the second one is parse all. The download will download all the source data files that you want to parse, and the parse all will basically parse these data into the format the strategy studio wants. And there are different modes and flags that you can set to uh, filter out the trade data that you want. We have implemented our NASDAQ data parser with C, which features a very fast runtime with easy conversion from binary data to text using bit operations. The parser will have NASDAQ TotalView ITCH 5.0 raw data. And note that you must download this data in order for this parser to run. And this parser will parse it to human readable text files and outputs the text file that's ready for Strategy Studio. And to run this parser, simply run the following command listed on the slide. Different from the NASDAQ big parser, we have used Python to implement our Alpaca data parser because there's a really powerful package called Alpaca API provided by Alpaca for users to directly download all the data from Alpaca. We will simply parse this data 
into a proper format for Strategy Studio. We have provided a simple bash script file to run our parser for Alpaca. Alpaca provides two modes, T or Q. T will basically uh, get all the trade data and Q will get all the port data, the MBBO from, from all US exchanges for a given tick. Note the NASDAQ and IEX parsers requires the original uh, raw data files. Therefore, we are now going to show a demo for Alpaca data parser, which is fast and simple to use. We have a file called Alpaca Parser. This is where we implemented the connection to the Alpaca API and parse the data into the format specified by the Strategy Studio. We also have a script file that automatically downloads data from Alpaca. This is where you need to change your key ID and secret ID to your account ID on Alpaca. Now to run this command, we have uh, different flags. The first one is by the text, and then the start and end date, the mode, which is T or Q, as I mentioned earlier, and the output directory. And then we can see the text file is automatically generated under the directory we specified, and these have the information for Strategy Studios. Now let me explain the most important parts of our project, Strategies. We started with a very simple strategy, buy last, sell first. This is an introductory strategy recommended by the professor. And this is based on the assumption that the stock price would go up during the night. Therefore, we're going to buy it right before the market closes. And during the night when the market price goes up, we're going to sell it in the beginning of the day when the market opens. We also modified it in a way that it will only sell when the price is higher than when we bought it by a threshold amount. The second strategy is mean reversion. This is a strategy that implements buy low, sell high, which calculates the average price of the equity from historical data, and we aim to model the true underlying value of the equity. For this strategy, we buy when the current price is below the average by a certain threshold, and we sell when the current price is above the average. The third strategy is signal trending, or ARP strategy which is derived from the momentum trading strategy. The basic concept is that we evaluate the trending of signal tick, like SPY, for trading decision of another tick. There are two parameters that we have tuned, the up threshold and the down threshold to decide tendency. We have also implemented stop and loss to reduce the significant loss. We only buy for the strategy when current signal price exceed most recent three trades by up threshold. And we only sell when the current signal price is below the most recent three trades by our down threshold. The last strategy is the swing strategy. And this swing strategy draws an analogy with an actual swing. The strategy based on the assumption that the market price will fall after it reaches the potential highest point, and the market price will rise after it reaches the potential lowest point. We analyze the trend of the overall market price with momentum, and we use passive momentum to predict the highest and lowest swing point to make a decision for buy and sell. Then we put this strategies file into the strategy studio, and the strategy studio will start the backtesting process and eventually output three different files the order, fill, and profit and loss. And this is when we conduct the analysis and visualizations. Now I'm going to show a demo for this. For visualization, we do have a main file that where you have to specify the ticket directory and the data directory. Under the expert data, you need to have the files generated by the strategy studios. For now, it's empty, and I do have a temp directory for demonstration purpose. And now I'm going to move through the files generated by the strategy studios into the export data directory so that these files are the newest files in the directory. Under the ticks data directories, you need to have ticks data with formats that are specified by the strategy studios. 
and we can get these files from the parsers we described earlier. We also have a fixed directory where our output's gonna be at. Now we run the main file by python3 main.py. And then we can see that these will generate three tabs on the left that are where you can interact with that shows the time series data, the bar data, and the measurement table of each strategy. And now we can see that these files or image files are also in the fixed directories for user to access. All the processes we described are all connected and automated by DevOps. Now let me start illustrating the basic pipeline for DevOps. First, it will check the dependencies and requirements that we listed. Then it will start a vagrant process and all the provisioning for each task. Then it will start downloading and parsing all the data from Alpaca, NASDAQ, or IEX of our choice. After parsing the data, we'll start backtesting our strategies in Strategy Studios. And then Strategy Studio will export the results into different CSV files for us to generate analysis and visualizations. All of these can be achieved with single command. And now I'm going to show a demo for DevOps. To run everything together, you simply run the script file we implemented go.sh. We can see that first it is checking whether the dependencies has been satisfied and then starts a vagrant. And then it will set up a virtual machine with VirtualBox and then starts provisioning for each task and the requirements. And then it will start running the Alpaca data parsers like we demonstrated earlier. And then the script will move these files to where they should be, and then they will start the backtesting process for our strategy. After the backtest, when the backtesting is done, we start the analysis program we described earlier. And uh, the strategy studios will automatically generate three outputs, CSV files. And since these files are the latest in the directories, these files will be selected for the analysis program. And lastly, the user can check this diagram and the measurement table in the fixed directories. That concludes our project, and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please send us your email or connect us through the contacts that we listed on our GitLab repo. Thank you.